Hey, this is Martin Larsson from At The Gates uh, with Premier Guitars Big Five. <laughs> What's my favorite guitar? I'm the, the most boring uh, guitar interviewee you, you can have. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm Guitars are like tools. They're, they're vehicles. They're literally instruments for you to, to express whatever you want to express. I'm really happy with the solar guitars that we are working with uh, at the moment. Uh, so uh, we're having our own brand guitar, the, the At The Gates Solar Guitar. I'm having a, a regular size and, and uh, the other guitar player is, is using a baritone, but I've, I've got fingers like an eight-year-old girl. So uh, I, I have to use the... I, I tried, the, the, I tried the, the baritone for a while, but I, I went back to the regular scale. I, I got presented with something and I saw no reason to, to tweak it. I can't speak for Stolis. I'm not sure if he had any any specifications, but they're they're pretty similar the the, the baritone and the regular scale. Um, it's uh, this isn't the, the guitar, but it's like 95 percent the same. The ones we're using now are the the second edition. The first one only had a only the one uh, humbucker. They're a little more versatile now. Mostly play on the on the bridge pickup anyway. There are Fishman. Uh, actually, I have it written down. Fishman Fluence Modern. Those I asked for. Uh, I like the warm sound of the Fishman pickups. My Desert Island album. It, that's it, it's almost impossible to say. I'd I'd like to bring a thousand albums, but got in my head. Who got me into music when I was about ten was a band called Slade, British band. So probably say an early compilation called Slatest uh, from early 70s because of like sentimental value and, and all that. He was a big goofy dresser, they all were. It's pretty basic rock music but it's very easy music to get into as a kid. They're like imprinted in my DNA. For musical value the, the bass player is, is the go-to guy. He, he's like the, the musical talent of the, of the band. And, wrote most of the music. He's got very musical bass lines, very melodic. Actually, I have a theory that, that uh, Gene Simmons picked up a lot of that, uh, or they're both fans of, of Paul McCartney and it's kind of dumbed down Paul McCartney playing. But I know I, I know that Kiss liked Slate, so it's a possibility. My biggest guitar culture pet peeve is really tricky. I thought long and hard about this and I don't think I have one. Uh, I'm not even sure to what extent I'm part of guitar culture. I'm just a guy that plays riffs. <laughs> also, I'm kind of a live and let live kind of guy. So I've really tried hard and come up with any, something, but I'm drawing a blank here. A guitar hero of mine that would shock my fans. Uh, I don't know, it's it's, it's hard because we're, um, our fans are pretty open-minded, I'd say. That, that's my experience at least. So I don't know what would shock people who listen to At The Gates. But uh, I'm I'm really fond of a guy called Snakefinger who, who played a bit with the uh, Residents uh, way back. He did a few albums in that kind of style, weird uh, kind of left field, quirky stuff. And uh, he used to be a blues player, uh, but this is something completely different. It's not pretty. It, it doesn't sound nice. It sounds just wrong. But I like that. Check that guy out. And also kind of similar is uh, Bob Motherspaw from Devo. He's a little bit more rock and roll, whereas uh, Snakefinger is more rooted in, in blues playing. Voivod was a big door opener for me musically because I was 10 years old in 83. And uh, back then when I, and, and all of us, when we started getting really into music, like Maiden and Malta Crew and Judas Priest and Accept and all those bands were the hardest you can get a hold of. And then we grew up within metal becoming more extreme. So we grew up with Voivod and they presented so much different music to us. And uh, Iron Maiden and their progressive the tendencies kind of uh, softened me up a little bit to progressive music. My biggest secret weapon, uh, not tooting my own horn, is probably not a weapon. It's probably just as much a weakness, right? Uh, maybe um, I'm a quick learner. I pick up things fast and I have a good ear. So maybe that. Mm -hmm.